Hi, this is Fire from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to try to use my mink, Anna Griffin mink, and I'm using a paper that I use toner, black toner, and what I did is I created my own toner paint. The way that I did this is I took some art paste, Elmer art paste, and I filled it up about here, you know, and then I took some toner and I just put a bunch of toner, mixed it real good, put some more, mixed it some, some more, and then put some more, mixed it some more, so that way it will be nice and dark. Now I noticed when I was doing that, because when you put toner on this, it wasn't kind of grabbing the toner as well. It, see right here? It wasn't really grabbing when I tested on a piece of paper and it was kind of separating. So what I did is I added a little bit, I would say about three, two tablespoons, three tablespoons of about two and a half to three tablespoons of this all the glue all in my mixture that I created here. And then I just mixed that real good and it came out really nice and then when I tested it see how dark it was okay so this was without the emerald glue and then I put a little emerald glue and that's how it came out I think you can also use gel medium might work as well or you know I use what I had in hand which was that and some Elmo's glue so I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can create a doily let me go ahead and start my mink and I'm going to put it in, I think I'll put it in four for now and let it get nice and hot. I want to create a die cut using my new doily punch from Martha Stewart. And this one creates a six inch doily punch which will fit perfectly in my six inch carrier. And you want to cut the paper a little bigger. So this paper is about, let's see, almost eight by seven okay and what I like to do is find the middle but you don't even need to do that I'm gonna go ahead and place my cutting plate on the bottom here the bottom plate and then I am going to kinda guesstimate that the middle is there because if I start folding this it might it might crack and then I just go around to make sure as I go around that I'm not seeing part of the bottom here and see when I addition it it's actually covering the whole bottom plate so that means it's gonna cut through Go ahead. You gotta be careful. See, I moved the paper. So if that happens, align it to the last cut, like you see there, and put your knob again. And I notice in this punch, don't really, sometimes it, it's not moving as, it's, it, it doesn't move as good as it should. I don't know if I have a bad punch because most of Martha Stewart punch are very good. I love Martha Stewart punch. But this one I've been having some issues with it. Got my doily. I'll throw the excess off. And get rid of these little pieces. Ok. 
Okay, let's put this aside. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and put the knob before I lose that knob. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some foil. And I'm going to use red because I'm going to use this for a Christmas card or whatnot. And um, I found this on sale. It was for five dollars, so half off. Usually you can. These are uh, ten dollars each. Okay, so let me cut a piece of paper as big as my doily. And we want to put our dory leaf fits perfect in there. We want to go ahead and put this. Actually, this it's I think the shiny part up. Yeah, it is. It's usually the shiny part up. And then now we don't want all these pieces hanging out. So what I'm going to do. I think I need the larger, let me get the larger carrier sheet. I'm going to pull a 12 by 6 that I have because I don't want any chances of this damaging my machine. And then you want to smooth it out, make sure it's nice and smooth. And I think right there it's going to have an issue, but that's okay because I'm going to cover that. This is just for a background. And now I'm going to run it through the machine. And let's see if it works. Okay. Let's see the big reveal. Did it work? Beautiful. It worked absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep. It did work, and actually, it even worked better than when if I would have used my um, printer. So I basically just created some um, paint. I put it over there, and not even one speck. And actually, I put it on number four. But look how beautiful that's gonna look. I like it. Now I got one of Anna Griffin's toner sheet. I cut out the leftovers that was left from this. I'm gonna make sure I you gotta make sure you I you really press it down. You want no bubbles. Hold on, let me make sure I think I'm good. I'm going to run that through once. And you don't want to pull this thing. You want to let it come out by itself. Now. Actually, I should have done because the whole toner now you can't use it again. Or well, maybe you can. So 
So let me cut it. Now what I want to do is, I want to put another, I don't know what that was, right there. And I'm going to rerun it with some of this on there. Let me put it upside down. Cut this out again. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna because see when it, you ran it through it kind of made the toner shiny. So no, I did see Heidi Swap do that with some of her embellishment. She ran it through once and then ran it, it through it again, and it came out pretty nice. So I'm going to see if that's gonna work. Very hot. Oh, it did do it. Amazing. Now, did something was there? I remember. Um, I don't. I don't know what was that, but it did work pretty nice. So now I'm just gonna cut around it, and I have two doilies. So um. The other thing, once you do these, sometimes you have leftover pieces of toner, and you don't want to get rid of that. They're too large for certain things or whatever. What you can do is you can just take your punches and just punch a little shapes out. You can even take some of your dies and cut little um, images out. Now I'm using, uh, I think some silver clouds will be kind of cute in a layout. Just cut things out. And that way you don't waste any of your toner or your paper. This one, I'm going to cut some more shapes out. So I pull some butterflies, hearts. A little birdie there so I'm just gonna punch all this out you keep it in a little baggie and then you can use it later on for any kind of layout so I hope you like this video and oh and by the way you have another little doily there another toner sheet you can you know use to put that in on and I gave you an idea of how to buy cheap little toner glue all and then use I use um, art paste but um, you don't have to use art paste I think if you use just a glue that is transparent or even gel medium it will work but I have a lot of that art paste so I wanted to use that because I didn't want it to make it I wanted to make it that it's very dark so so I hope you like this video and oh and by the way you have another little doily there another toner sheet you can you know use to put that in on so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.